folks, today we are at the Tampa Fairgrounds. This is the 17th of January, 2023. We're here for the RV show. We're going to check out some RVs. Me and Marcy are thinking about getting into uh, RV and ourselves, so uh, we're going to start out small, something we can pull with a small truck. Um, if you got something like that, let us know in the comments below what you would recommend. So let's get in here and check this place out. It's $15 to get in, $2 off if you're military. So we're going to get our tickets. I'll show you that process. Hello, two for military. Two. No. Like I said, oh, I always... on your phone. I just oh. let your puppy touch me. Oh, look, so, so cute. <laughs> I love animals. We got our tickets and we are heading in right here. Uh, this is where you first go in at. First time coming to the RV show here in Tampa, so we're going to check it out. If you need a, a scooter to get around, they have the rentals here for you. And um, we're going to just follow the crowds here. Once you come in, it looks like we're going to go to the left. Not sure what to expect. First time here, and we're gonna look at small RVs. Maybe, uh, maybe something we can pull with the truck and see what they got. So, he can bring you dogs here. I've seen a lot of dogs. It's been a while since we've been to the fairgrounds, right, dear? It has been a while. Well, not really for me because I told you. Uh, our daughter's graduation here a few months back. Oh yeah, they have graduations here too. They have everything here. They've got a gun show coming up here in the end of January. Uh, there's some of the RVs I guess we're gonna be looking at today. So, and we're gonna go right on up through here. Why do you <laughs> Register to win. What do you want to win today? They give away the RV. Here's the booklet that you can get whenever you come in. Got a map of everything. We're gonna work our way on through here. And you come out in the exhibit hall. That's what it looks like. Yeah. All kinds of camping gear. If you want to put a, put a cargo hauler on the back of your vehicle, I got some pillows and bedding here. There's a resort here. All the kind of flags if you want to flag for your RV. Lots of shopping here. Lots of things to see. You know, we're gonna press on ahead and try to get into some of the RVs and check those out. Some of the campers. I guess that's the layout of them. Yeah, we might register to win that one. We'll see. And it leads us into another exhibit hall with more shopping. So anything you need for the RV, I'm sure you can find it here. No doubt. No doubt in my mind at all that you can find it here. And I think we spot our first camper. And it's inside the exhibit hall here. I don't think that a uh, camper is one you can go into. I think that's just for a demonstration. So we're going to walk on outside here and see what we can find. Like we're stepping out of the exhibit hall and got a couple food vendors here. Got uh, briskets and all kinds of stuff. That looks really good. Smells good too. So like I said, we're going to be looking at the smaller, not so much the big campers. We're going to look at smaller ones. And as soon as you come out of the exhibit hall, 
the uh, first thing you see is these smaller campers, so we're going to check these out and see what they're about. This little small one here, iTech Rover. It's a cute little camper if you just one person. Oh, it has a toilet. That's something you don't usually see in these little small ones. But it does have a toilet. No shower. But it's pretty small. And let's check this out. This is Dawn. And this one is... Uh, this one's small too like a nice place to hang out at. It's a microwave, fridge. It even comes with its own little toilet and shower. Wow. That's if you're a small person. That'd be hard to work with there. But it comes with everything. It's got the sink and you got a stove. How you doing? Okay, let's check out the rover. Soul Rover roller comes with the awning. Let's see what it looks like on the inside of here. Uh, as soon as you walk in, to the right is the sink, you got a fridge, stereo, a kitchen area, sleeping area. Comes with a TV and a bathroom with a shower. Wow, this has everything. Man, that's a small little bed. I mean, I'm sure it lets out into a bed. We're gonna check this one out next. This is a flyer. If you want to with this one, I guess. Look, even uh, let's go around back here and look at it. It's got a walk-up ramp, pull-up ramp, whatever you want to do. Hey, you could pull your motorcycle in here and park it, <laughs> and then sleep. They got the ends that pop out and let you sleep. Got a hi, folks. Nice kitchen. Well, as long as you don't need to go to the bathroom, you're in business. Yeah, no bathroom, no bathroom at all. But you got two good-sized beds over here. All righty, let's move on. There you go. How about that one? Will that work for us? So we're gonna move on down the block here. Now here's something I've talked to Marcy about, and that's uh, doing the van thing instead of pulling a uh, pulling a uh, camper. That seems like it would be more suited to us. At least for starting out. Hey, let's show, uh, let's check this out here. Hello. Alrighty. Come on out. Thanks. And there's where you, where the control center's at. And the chair spins around. This is, he can have another person sitting here or here. Got a stove, got the, the, the TV, got some storage units here. Lots of storage. Because my wife don't want to be in the camera today. She is not feeling her best. So we're going to make quick work of it today. But got a nice little area back here, sleeping area. Got the TV back here, cup holders, outlets. Wow, let's take a look in here. Here's the bathroom. Wow, there's the toilet. So, this must be the shower. Wow. Wow. Again with the tiny shower. If you're a little person, short person, this might work for you, but I don't know. I can make it work. I like the lighting behind there. That's nice. I mean, you could leave the door open and just put this in, but you've got to keep the shower in there to keep the water in. So not much elbow room. So yeah, it's really nice. It's really nice, but... Wow, look at the price tag. 
You see that? Nah, I don't think so. 218. You gotta be joking. Nope. Alrighty. A little bit too much for us. For our first time, we're not gonna spend that kind of money. No way, Jose. So let's move on. How you doing? Okay. Let's go down through here. They got some smaller ones over here. That's absolutely too small for us. Hey baby, that's only 14. And there's what it looks like. So let's take a look inside. Good camp outside here. And there's what the inside looks like. Wow. Yeah. Not so much. I'm sure it would work if you were single, but I don't think Marcy would uh, have any want to do this one too much. I want to get in there by my <laughs> Marcy's claustrophobic. Oh, you got the back. Look, there's your kitchen and everything. But the rest of it, no, it wouldn't work so much. It's got twin beds in there. And they are really compact. So we got a whole, whole lot of RVs down through here. But these are going to be too big for my little truck to haul. It's got the outdoor shower. It's got the bay. Well, just for fun, let's look at this one right quick. This is the Outback Premium Travel Trailer. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Check this out. This is like a modular home on wheels. Yeah, I mean, I think this one's in our budget. <laughs> How much is this one? I have no idea. Uh -huh. Actually, no, it's not in our budget. It's got the slide out, I guess. Uh, yeah. Where is it? Yeah, that's the slide out. Let's see what this is. There's the bathroom. Wow. Nice. Spacious bathroom. And what is this back here? Oh, there's the bedroom. Separate bedroom. Look at that. Wow. Closet space. All kinds of stuff here. Windows. And you can get to the bathroom from here also. Pretty nice. That is not bad at all for this one. Let's check this out. This one is the Sprinter Limited. I think... I don't see how that... What does discount mean? Does that mean... That means you get a deal today. Day. That's the Sprinter. <laughs> That's if you uh, finance it. This is really nice. Let's check. Oh, he has it upstairs and downstairs. Wow. You can tell we're new to this thing. Because this is super nice. No wow. way. No way. Wow. Look up there. Yep. We've got a little sleeping area for the grandkids. Got a fridge, a freezer, a full fireplace. size almost. Microwave, got the stove, an island with a sink in it. Look, got another little room in here that lets out into a bed, I'm sure. If you want to bring some more grandkids and have a TV installed here, a lot of storage there. Let's go upstairs and see the master bedroom. I'm sure that's where it's at. And that's not a bad price for 71. Got a little sleeping area up here. Got another. <coughs> Here's the bathroom. Not bad. Make that work. Nice uh, shower there. And now to the main part the master bedroom hmm not I mean it's it's all right got a little storage area back in here got a full-size bed it looks like that's not really the price out there it would work definitely so we found one that might we might be able to pull it with the uh Tacoma this one here 47 we're gonna go in from the side here there's an awning up here it's called the bullet and Marcy says she likes this one, so it even has a full-size, oh, there's a microwave up here, full-size fridge. Got a seating area here. Nice seating area. 
the toilet, shower. Not a curtain. I got the little thing up here and locked in place. A small little shower there. There's your toilet. There's your sink. Hey. And there's the uh, full size bed. I don't know if she's going to like that or not. Oh, there's a laundry chute too. I'll oh, put you dirty laundry in there, I guess. And then it drops down outside there for you. So this is called the Bullet Crossfire. If you got one of these, leave it in the comment below. Let us know how you like it. When I was in there inside with all those people, I thought it was going to happen. Oh, yeah. Tankless water heater. A, a tankless what? water a tankless heater. water heater. Oh, so yeah. a lot of these campers have a six gallon water heater in it. They absolutely suck. You get about 11 and a half minutes of decently warm, lukewarm water. This will be like scolding hot and you can take a 30, 40 hour long shower and you're never going to run out of hot water. Oh, oh wow. okay. Huh. So we, what's the capacities of the, uh, Tanks. Oh, the here. tanks, uh, they probably got the listed up here. Yeah. Oh. Here so, yep, yeah, it's all right there. Fresh water 54, wastewater 30, gray water 60. Okay. okay. There's another one we think the uh, Tacoma would pull. <coughs> this is the 253 RDS. <laughs> We wanted uh -oh. to swap it out to have uh, that as a house. It is something that's doable. Anything that you see that has this setup or the couch setup, I can either swap it vice versa. So if you want the love seat, I can put the love seat. If you want the couch, I can do the couch. I like the that. Dimensions. I like this just fine. But does it come? It, re it, it reclines. It does not make a bed. But it reclines. So you've got right? a little parachute cord right there. Oh, yeah. Okay. And these are microfiber materials, so they're not going to scratch. They're not going to get hot and sticky. They're stain resistant. If you kick here and push back a little bit, you can actually lay out the rest of it. Oh, <laughs> oh wow, there you go. Oh, they could sleep there. That's yeah. good sleep anywhere. This I've is seen perfect. Yeah. Up. This one is going to be 5,640 pounds. Got a fireplace. <laughs> Got a TV. Microwave. Got a fireplace. We'll switch you out of here. Really? <laughs> Those are rated for about 500 square foot. The biggest fit wheel on the market is 460 toll bolt fridge. You don't have to worry about propane anymore. Oh wow, no propane for and the fridge. If you open the fridge, if you look at an RV fridge, you're gonna have half the depth in that fridge. In the RV oh wow, fridge. that does go back. It's a lot of room. That's oh, yeah. plenty. That's a 12 cubic foot. Your standard RV fridge is about six to eight. There's the bathroom. Uh, so you want to watch from over here, or the kids want to watch the yeah. And there's the bed. Forty-seven nine ninety-five. Forty-seven nine ninety-five for this one. Yeah. You see the hookup, and like he said, it comes with a solar package this weekend. And I do have a All righty. So see Cody this weekend at the RV show in Tampa, Florida. And he'll get you guys need anything fixed up. that's not at my booth, I do have 200 stores nationwide. I can pull from any camper or any manufacturer here, and I can do show pricing on everything. Cool. So if you see something at one of the other booths that you want to come run some numbers with me, see if I can beat their price, I probably can. Just okay. Give the opportunity. All righty. Thanks, Cody. Thank you Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so no much. If y'all need anything, you got myself a number. Call me, text me anytime. Thank okay. You. Thanks, Here's Cody. Appreciate it. I am going to shop for an RV. Uh, are you boys gonna get an RV like a toy hauler big enough to take me along with you? <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> that means maybe too. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Oh, you don't think we would have some fun here? So cute. <laughs> uh, All righty, we've looked at a couple of RVs and checked out a few things they had here, and we're gonna keep on working our way on down. See what else they got to have. But Marcy's getting hungry and so am I, so we're gonna find us something to eat here in just a second. So. Look at this time. Oh yeah, you wanna go look at one of them? Sure. Alrighty, we're gonna go over here and look at the Rovers. That one's only $39.95. Let's see what it looks like. $39.95. This is a Rover Light 24. Let's step inside and see what it is. Wow. There's the bed. There's that. 
here's the bathroom Ooh. and the showers all in one mm -hmm. and Marcy already said no 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 so we're gonna pass on this one we found this little truck it's called village bread cafe and we're gonna give this a try we'll show you what it looks like uh, the food that I've seen coming out of here looks really nice we're gonna try this out how you doing? Hi, good. Let me get a uh, the chicken tender with fries. Chicken tenders with fries. And uh, what, what is this here? So it's homemade on the truck. It's hibiscus tea, cane sugar, ginger, and cinnamon. Let's try it. So they give us this buzzer. It's going to go off. And then we're going to go right up there and get our food. And we'll show you what that looks like here in just one second. <coughs> it's very nice. So Marcy has found her, her little camper. This is the one that I think she wants to roll with. Isn't that cute? Isn't that so cute? That's the barefoot. Uh-oh. Now she's calling me over. She's found something else that'll work. So let's go. Okay, never mind. She wants to move into this one. There's your bed. Yep, and it comes with a kitchen. Nice little kitchen. Yeah, I know, right? Got a cooler, got a microwave, Not got bad. your everything. A lot of, a lot of space. You want to do this one? Doesn't come with a bathroom yeah, or nothing. Alrighty. Alrighty, folks. That's gonna wrap it up for the RV show here in Tampa, Florida, for the weekend of the 17th, 18th, 19th, and I think 20th. Uh, make sure you come down and check it out. Uh, we checked out a few campers today. Hope you like what you saw. Maybe it gave you some ideas. Uh, if you have any of these campers or want to give us some hints or anything about getting into camping, leave us a comment below. Be sure you like, subscribe, ring the bell so you get notified. And we will catch you on the next video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Yeah.